Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my fifth Python 3 tutorial. Now, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be introing functions in Python. And if you don't know what they are, um, well, there's, there's two kinds of functions, uh, two kinds of functions. And the first is a built-in program in Python. And uh, I've showed you some of these, like uh, the print function, the type function, and there's a bunch more print uh, built-in programs um, that uh, they, they're really useful. Um, and the other kind of function is a is a user created function. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, a function in Python. And functions are really awesome because they allow you to do uh, complex things without having to constantly go through all the steps. So let's say you want to do something in your code a few times, um, you can just put it into a function and then just call that function whatever you want in your code. Um, now creating functions is really easy. All you have to do is first you type in the word def and that stands for define because functions are defined using that keyword then you uh, put a space and then type in what you want your function name to be now if you watched my last tutorial on variables um, you would have uh, seen when I, I talked about the illegal names for variables and the same the same thing applies for uh, functions uh, you can't use those in illegal names or else you'll get an error so anyway, so I'm just going to do the name uh, func for function, and then open parenthesis, close parenthesis. And um, sometimes these parentheses, nothing's in them. Other times it isn't, and um, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. I'll show you what, what you can put in them in just a little bit. And then after that, you put uh, a colon, and that, that ends the line, and, and it tells Python that whatever's after this is going to be in the function. So you hit enter, and you can see once you hit enter that it's already tabbed uh, because the way function or the way Python use uh, does stuff is not with brackets um, like other program uh, programming languages, but instead they use white space so uh, to to tell when uh, when something is in a function or in different kinds of statements, so that when the white space ends, it knows that you um, are done with that, um, like you want to get out of the function or something, like you you ended the function. And um, so this part of the function is called the body, and it basically just contains all, everything you want that function to do. So I'm going to have my function print um, hello world. And um, now you can see that you can use other functions inside of functions. Um, so it's that's really helpful also. And uh, if you hit enter, you can see it automatically again tabs it. And I'm actually going to do another print function. I'm going to say goodbye. Oops. And you can see you can have um, almost I, th I think an unlimited amount of uh, steps that you want your functions to, that you can have your functions do. Um, but right now that's the only things I want to do. So I hit enter again, then enter one more time, and Python knows that I'm done with that function. And uh, calling the function is really easy. You type in the function name, and then parentheses. Since this one has no uh, parameters is what they're called inside the function. Um, that's all I have to do right now. Then I hit enter and you can see it prints hello world and then goodbye. And uh, now now I just mentioned parameters a second ago and now I'm going to show you what those are. Uh, you will be using this a lot in Python and so let me create a new function. I'm going to call it func2 and I'm going to put my parentheses here but I'm not going to leave the parentheses blank this time. This time. Um, I'm going to put what are called parameters inside of the parentheses. And basically what parameters are is they're, they're kind of like variables that you define each time you use a function. And, uh, and then you can use those parameters inside of your function as variables so that you can uh, have different values each time for the function. Uh, so, I mean, you'll, you'll see when you code you you'll kind of you'll kind of get the hang of it um and I, i'll show you i'll show you what i mean here in a second um so let me just move forward uh parameters can again they can have almost any name you want except for the illegal names um but i'm just going to have mine be a and b for right now and you can have as many as you want but make sure you separate all of them with a comma so then i do uh the colon hit enter now i'm going to return a plus b and return just does what it says. It returns that to you. It, it outputs it in this case. And uh, so the parameter, whatever value you put in for A, 
um, is going to go here. Whatever value you put, you put in for b is going to go there, so it's going to add them. So now um, let me call my function, func2. And you can see once I hit the first parenthesis, open one, not to close, not closing it yet, um, you can see this box pops up and it tells you what parameters are in there. And now I'm going to type in those parameters. Um, well, when you call a function, they're not called parameters anymore. Um, when I'm typing them in, they're called arguments. Um, I'm not really sure why exactly, but uh, that's just how Python does it. So I'm going to have 2 and 3 as my arguments. And hit enter, and you can see 2 is assigned to A and 3 is assigned to B. And it's A plus B. It's five, and uh, that's that's basically it. Um, now you have to make sure though that you uh, when you when you make um, let's say I call function two again, and I only put in one of the values, it'll give me an error. So you have to make sure you you have to you put the exact amount of uh, of par of arguments in because um, if you don't, it'll give you this error. And so yeah, that, that's it for this tutorial. Um, so so what I did, I showed you uh, how to create a function, and the you, how you can create the body, you know, stuff like that. How to call it, and then how to create a function with uh, parameters, and that's really easy too. All you have to do is just put uh, whatever values you want in here in the in, in the parentheses. And then you can use them whenever you want throughout the, your code. So that, like, let's say I make a new function. I, I, I made a func. I called the function with uh, the values as two is two and three as, for the argument values. And so then it returned two plus three. But if I if I call it again, I can call it with any combination of numbers I want. And it'll always add them. It won't. Um, whoops! I called the wrong function. And so you can see if it doesn't use. Uh, if it doesn't call for any values, then if it doesn't take any arguments, then you can't give any. But anyway, it's basically what I, I wanted to show you is that you can, when you use parameters, um, you can change the numbers every time you use the parameters. Um, so that, that's incredibly helpful when you're coding. Um, and I, I mean, you'll see that more and more when you code. Um, now, in the next tutorial, I will be showing a little more about functions. Um, so stay tuned for that. And. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.